When you're low carb or on any other kind of diet plan which involves food, is exercise really ever necessary? We think no, but maybe yes. Hey there, njroot22.com here with another kind of low carb keto carnivore chat. And this is a topic about exercise. Um, you know, you, you go anywhere and look at any kind of trending topics and, and people are always talking about exercise and the need for exercise. And in general, we believe that um, when you're like a low carb keto carnivore person, exercise isn't necessarily necessary to get into a healthy zone. Okay, um, you know, in other words, there's caveats to it. You don't have to exercise, but if you're, if you're in a couple other situations, you might need to increase your uh, activity level. For instance, like we, we, we've gotten, like we've lost 90% of the weight we need to lose, but we're kind of stuck at the moment. And it's because of the fact that we're not as active as we are during the summer. And I've noticed this quite interestingly. Um, during the summer, like six months, but uh, six months we're really active outside. My, my weight goes down and I'm like very lean feeling. And then from October to March or April, we're, uh, we start, sort of start feeling a little bit kind of bleh. Um, and we're, we're fairly sedentary. Uh, during the winter, especially if we had zero snow. I did zero snow work this this winter So that could could you know, you know contribute to this whole situation um, Now do people need to go to the gym three to five times a week and go nuts with uh, whatever they're doing uh, those uh, well, I, I can't remember these gyms climbing gyms. They got CrossFit. That's what I'm talking about and all this other stuff and people go nuts and it becomes an obsession and then there's all sorts of issues with that um, but I guess my rule of thumb is if you're you can get healthy without exercise just try to be active when you can you know like park far away at the mall take the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator and you know always try to, to do more um, you know movement than than you know in other words, if it's easy, take the harder route. But also, like for us, like like this winter, I, I mean, I have a desk job, basically. I sit in a, a computer chair for like six hours a day or I don't know how many hours a day. And I, I do work around the house uh, as necessary. But, you know, like I said, in the winter, you know, I'm, I'm definitely more sedentary than normal. Um, so... Like going to the gym would help us, even though we really can't, because you know, for other reasons. But anyway, my whole point is, I'm, this is really a bad video. I, I I don't mind if you if I get a thumbs down. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Um, I had this theory uh, like a couple of weeks ago, where I was trying to draw a correlation between alcohol consumption and weight loss or weight gain, and I couldn't find one. And in fact, when I drank, I lost. Weight. I, my weight was better when I drank alcohol, but I, I there's one thing that I haven't included is if I'm you know abstaining from alcohol and I have a very active lifestyle, would that make a difference? So that's something I'm probably going to try out this summer uh, to see if like if I take a month off or if I go really light on the alcohol while I'm extremely you know active and and doing strenuous activities, would it make a difference? But um, again, if you really want to, to speed up your low carb progress, I think exercise is not a bad thing. I wouldn't make it personally my the center of my life working out, it, although it is addictive and it's a good addiction to have, I guess, until you're hurting yourself. I rambled, I'm, I really apologize, but if you like this video, please hit the subscribe and the bell and all that that would help us out a lot we we need like 960 more <laughs> subscribers to get uh, monetized for youtube but maybe you can maybe you can help me make my videos better anyway see you next video